Greetings fellow mathematicians. Today brings an investigation about partitioning. Think about what you already know about partitioning. Talk to a friend about partitioning and when you're ready to share, do that. Let's investigate partitioning two-digit numbers using blocks. Let's select cards to make a two-digit number. What number is this? Is this number 24? Let's make a tower of 24 blocks. How could we partition this tower of 24 blocks into two parts? Could we partition 24 into 23 and 1? Let's record our partition. If we know that we can partition 24 into 23 and 1, do we also know that we can partition 24 into 1 and 23? Is this the same partition? Have the parts just swapped places? Did we partition 24 using place value? Did we partition 24 into tens and ones? No, we didn't partition 24 into tens and ones, so we didn't partition 24 using place value. Let's put the tower of 24 blocks back together again. How else could we partition this tower of 24 blocks into two parts? Could we partition into 22 and 2? Let's record our partition. If we swap the places of the parts, what other partition do we know? Do we know 2 and 22? Is this the same partition? Does this partition use place value? Did we partition 24 into 10s and 1s? No, we didn't partition 24 into 10s and 1s, so this partition does not use place value. Let's put the tower back together again. How else could we partition 24 into two parts? Could we partition into 21 and 3? Let's record this partition. If the parts swap places, what other partition do we know? Do we know 3 and 21? Is this the same partition? Did we partition 24 into place value parts? Did we partition 24 into 10s and 1s? No, we didn't partition 24 into 10s and 1s, so we didn't partition 24 into place values. Let's put our tower of 24 back together again. How else could we partition 24 into two parts? Could we partition 24 into 20 and 4? Let's record our partition. If our parts swap places, what other partition do we know? Do we know 4 and 20? Did we partition 24 into place values? Did we partition 24 into 10s and 1s? We did partition 24 into 10s and 1s. This partition does use place value. This partition uses standard place value. Let's partition 24 into 10 and 14. Let's record our partition. If the parts swap places, what other partition do we know? Do we know 14 and 10? Does this partition use place value? Have we partitioned into 10s and 1s? We have partitioned into 10s and 1s. We've partitioned into 1, 10 and 14, ones. This partition uses non-standard place value. So we've partitioned our 24 into non-place value, into standard place value and into non-standard place value. Let's investigate partitioning two-digit numbers without blocks. Let's select cards to make a two-digit number. What number did we make? Did we make 32? How could we partition 32 into two parts that don't use place value? Could we partition 32 into 31 and 1? If the parts swap places, what other partition do we know? Do we know 1 and 31? Did we partition 32 into parts that don't use place value? How could we partition 32 into parts that use standard place value? Could we partition 32 into 30 and 2? 
If the parts swap places, could we describe this partition as 2 and 30? Did we partition 32 into two parts using standard place value? How could we partition 32 into two parts using non-standard place value? Could we partition 32 into 20 and 12? If the parts swap places, what other partition do we know? Do we know 12 and 20? Did we partition 32 into two parts using non-standard place value?